XLM is at a make or break point. Level just made history and Bitcoin look like it's ready to go on another run. We will talk about that and much more on this episode of Max Crypto News. Grand Rising family, I want to welcome you to another episode of Max Crypto News, where we talk about these intangible coins at all times, family. Listen, family, if you're not subscribed to BitMax on YouTube, I need you to go and hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and if you like the content, Family, I need you to hit that like button, right? And also, leave a comment if you have something that you want to say or if you have a chart that you want me to look at. Um, family, the market is recovering and acting exactly the way I thought it was going to act. I told y'all that there was some stuff expiring today. And that was going to dictate the price of Bitcoin. And we can see the market is recovering. And Bitcoin is starting to head back up. Um, so we're going to jump right in, family. So first off, y'all know we're looking at XLM. I feel like XLM is at a make or break point. It's been staying around this 37 to 40 cent range. So it's either about to make it or break it. So we're gonna look at the chart and dive in to see what's really going on with XLM. But before we get into XLM, family, let me go ahead and start off by going to Coin Market Cap. So let me refresh my screen. We can see the market cap is one trillion seven hundred thirty-five billion dollars. Bitcoin is over 55,000, up 4.86%. You got Ethereum up over $1,700, up 4.74% family. Bitcoin, Binance coin at $253. Cardano at a dollar nineteen cent, up six point twenty nine percent. Polka dot at thirty two dollars sixty six cent. XRP at fifty six cent, still recovering good. Uniswap at twenty nine dollars. Data a little bit going a little bit down, but still at twelve dollars and forty one cent. Then you got Litecoin at one hundred eighty three dollars and sixty one cent to round out the top ten, family. Right, so I told y'all that when the um um <clears throat> that Bitcoin price was gonna start going back up, um, family, and that's exactly what happened. Um, matter of fact, before we get there, let me go ahead. I should have pulled this up, but I didn't think about pulling it up. Right, so um. What it is, family, um, the, hold on, hold on, hold on, that's the wrong thing, family. I keep forgetting exactly what it's called, so that's why I was trying to look it up, um, but some stuff expired on Bitcoin, family. And that's all it is. Um, it made the price of Bitcoin go down. When it comes to me, I'll say it in the show as we're going on. Um, but it expired. That's what made Bitcoin drop to 52000 And now that it's expired, um, we can expect um, Bitcoin prices start going back up. Um, we looking, I'm looking at it possibly getting right to run to 70 k going into April. April is a very big month for crypto, the market, and Bitcoin in general. 
April is a very big month for Bitcoin and the market in general. I had to repeat that. All right, so what I wanted to do is let's go ahead and go ahead and get this GSS coin. It's a link in the description, family. If you want to get signed up for GSX, GSX the world's first growth coin, you click the link. Um, you still get your 5% buying bonus plus another 5% if you use my link, right? And you can get signed up with GSX, right? Okay, the Pi Network, this is what I was forgetting about. The Pi Network family, uh, I'm gonna play this real fast about the Pi Network. You can download this app and you can start mining your Pi. The future of money is evolving rapidly and no one wants to be left behind. Mining Bitcoin is time and energy intensive, requires extensive physical resources, and advanced technical knowledge. Introducing Pi, the first and only digital currency you can mine on your phone. That's big. This novel approach, developed by Stanford PhDs, allows you to mine cryptocurrency on your phone by leveraging your existing social connections with no cost and no battery drain. Have a phone? You've got Pi. It's time to join the revolution. Download Pi today for Apple or Android and get your piece of the pie. All right, family, so link in the description. Um, the only thing you have to put in is um, Max Crypto News and um, Azure Referral, and you will be able to mine the pie. Right, also some some news for the Pi Network. Let me go here real fast on Twitter. Um, Pi Network has reached over 15 million um, pioneers, right? So they the mining is about to be cut in half with Pi, all right? So here we go. We've crossed 15 million pioneers. Half and protects Pi's scarcity. Mine at a high rate while you can. So I've been telling y'all as the Pi Network get more and more users and members, the amount of hash rate is going to start happening. So right now you get point two hash rate of hashing with Pi, but the more and more members you see it goes down. Once they get to mainnet, you're only going to be mining at point one. And then once they get to 100 million, it's gonna get to 0.05. Then once they finally get to 1 billion, you're not gonna be getting no hash rate to mine. It's gonna be charging you to mine then. So you wanna take advantage of this Pi Network while you can, family. It's, it's free to mine, but as more and more people start becoming part of the network, the lesser, amount of hash rate you're not going to be able to mine as high as a rate as you are right now so you want to take advantage of this while you can family right um also since i was talking about xlm let's jump to xlm real fast so let me go to the chart right so when we look at xlm let's get to the um one hour chart We can see that um, it's been trying to recover um, since the dip down 34 cent. I hope you brought you some when it went down 34 cent. It got up to at least 38, close to 39 cent. Right now we see it's a little dip. We had a bullish, a bearish cross right here. Then it turned over to a bullish cross. Uh, right now, it's, it's hovering around 37, 38 cent. It's looking good, especially if you brought the dip. You know what up? What cent in the dip? So that's the one hour chart. Um, look at it, 30 minutes. So with the 30 minute chart, what's this bit finance here? Uh, it's basically the same thing. But 
this bearish cross we had, bullish cross we had right here, is getting real close with the 13 and 34 crossing again and going on a bearish cross. So we got to pay attention to this family with XLM. Let's get to the one day chart. All right, with this one day chart, get out of this. Okay, we can see that we have a flag. We have a flag, hold on. That we can see that it's a flag that's being produced right now. Hold up. So, <clears throat> with this, we can see that XLM is at a make or break point. With this flag here, it's either gonna go above or it's gonna go under. So the flag is coming to an end. So we had to make them break. It's either gonna go above it or it's gonna go under it. So we will, we will be able to tell in the next couple of days what XLM gonna do, if it's gonna, Go bullish or it's gonna go I feel like XLM is at a make or break point. Me personally, this is what I feel. Like it's at a make or break. Either it's gonna trend up or it's gonna trend down. Um, and we will find out in the next couple of days. So I'm gonna keep this flag here as long as I can. So we'll see if XLM trim up, trends up, or trends down. So it's actually at a break or make point right now, family. Um, now, Clever, let's get to some Clever. Because what Clever did was, y'all know they had the KFI mining and with the Clever news. So it says Clever raises 77 million plus million USD for Clever blockchain. And here's why Clever burned it all. Um, KFL Mining is a pioneer of in crypto as Clever holders infuse 77 million of value in the form of Clever to the blockchain governance token KFI while burning removing the KLV used to mine KFI. Family, this is huge. This is the first of its kind to ever do anything like this. Um, it says the mining of Clever Finance token, the governance token, of the upcoming Clever blockchain has successfully concluded in the largest mine burn in the history of crypto. Clever just made history. 629 million, Clever, million Clever at the value of plus 77 million USD has now officially been burned and removed from Clever Circle. Legging supply on March 26th. As a result of the KFI mining, you can find the blockchain transaction hash to the KFV burn event right in here. So this how much Clever was mined. I mean, burnt to mine 100,000 KFI. Family, this is historic. And this means that the KFI coin had was $77 million was infused in the KFI coin family. Um, and you only get a hundred thousand of these at that rate at 77 million at a hundred thousand coins. You're looking at over $700 per coin. Basically, that's what you're looking at. Family. All right. So we'll see how much KFI is going to come out, but this was a historic thing. And also, by burning this much clever, the remaining clever prices should start going up. So you should start seeing a, a, a price uptick in clever. 
expected to at least go up. I would say at least another five to ten cents. All right, so let's get away from Clever for a minute. Um, yeah, XLM, it was over 38 cents in the beginning, so it's going down a little bit right now. Um, fam, also, you know, today I'm going to show my dibs with my elephant money. So, um, I got 12 um, BDOs right now. Um, that's $9. So, I'm going to just roll these. I'm going to roll this today. I'm gonna roll these dips. You know, you can play the strategy however you want to. You can roll or you can withdraw. I'm rolling. Um, I think next week I may claim if the price go back up, but right now I'm just rolling. So you can see I just rolled that into my deposit. You can see how much I rolled and how much I withdraw so far. I ain't really took me now. I've been basically rolling everything. Uh, with my bank roll flow, the same thing. I got 115 um, bank wrecks, not that much, but I'm gonna roll it if I got enough TRX to roll. I might not have enough TRX. So let me see. Yeah, I might have to send some more TRX here. Got a feeling that's what it is. Let's see. Yeah. I got to send some more TRX here to roll. But I'm going to roll this. I'm going to roll this amount. Um, I'm going to roll it. I ain't claiming. I'm rolling. And when the price of um, Banker X goes up, Probably to like five or six TRX. I'm gonna I'm gonna start claiming. But right now I'm just gonna roll. Um, so that's elephant money. That's bank roll flow. Family, if y'all like the content, make sure y'all thumb up the video. If y'all want to get signed up for bank roll flow, elephant or elephant money, it is a link in the description where you can get signed up with this. Um, also, the stock the flow model, family. If you're not familiar with this. This is another one of the tools we use to see if Bitcoin have reached its top yet. So you can see on the stock to flow model, uh, just a little brief overview, not too much. In 2012, you can see the first bull run where it got to and it consolidated, going up. All right. The next one, you see what happened. It went down. You can look at the colors. The colors let you know once we hit the top what happened. So we can see in 2017 how we was orange. Then we kept up and we hit the top, came down, you know. 2013, you see the same thing. When you hit the top, then you came down. But here we are right here, right? We're still in the orange. Last time you see the orange, orange. And then we went into the other colors to hit the top. But I'm telling y'all, family, I think we're in the second half. I think we have reached the second half of this bull run. So we had the second half, family. We ain't got but the next half to be in here, right? But this is just confirmation on where we are in the bull market, right? Um, with that being said, family, I appreciate y'all for watching this episode of Max Crypto News. Thumb up the video, like the video, share the video. I love y'all. Catch y'all on the next video. Why oh, do?